Shalom. First and foremost, I start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakudash, double honors to the elders and apostles of great most and well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and Ababa Ball. Back in it with another lesson through the spirit of power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Lord's one of the videos edifying. And this is just a quick one. Lord willing, the spirit allows. Something I was just meditating on in my spirit, man. This is just another example why you should be honest with the body, you know, because we're all a, we're all one body, you know. So we got to make sure that we all got each other's back and that we're looking out for each other's best interests, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, um, besides Yahweh Bashem Shai, we're all we got, man. You know, like the scriptures talk about the first greatest commandment is to love the Lord, Yahweh. You know, with all your heart, Yahweh Bashem Shai, with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul. And then what? To love your neighbor as yourself, you know? So you want to make sure that you're dealing uprightly amongst the brethren. All right, this is Colossians chapter 3. And I start at verse 8. It says, but now ye also put up all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another. Seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds. All right. So that's really the point on that right there. All right. That's plain and simple. Okay. It says, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. All right. Yeah. Referring to the image of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. All right. And that's the image that we want to portray ourselves to be. And not just portray ourselves, but to actually be in that image. All right. Like it tells you in Romans 8. Romans 8 and um, it's like you. Romans 8 and verse 29. It says, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. All right. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. You know, referring to. The elect being conformed to the image of Yahweh Shai, you know, and Yahweh Shai conducted himself justly amongst the body. All right. And that's what we are to do as well, you know. But nonetheless, I have an account in the scriptures as well. I don't want to bring out through the spirit. It's Acts 5. It's a lot here. And uh, start at verse 1. Acts 5 and 1. It says, But a certain man named Ananias with Sephiria. Or Sephira, it's like if I pronounced it wrong. His wife sold a possession and he kept back part of the price. His wife also being privy to it and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why hath Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back part of the price of the land? Right, because, you know, ultimately... Because when you're when you're lying to the body, you're you're basically lying to an extension of Yahweh Bashem Shah because the spirit of the Lord is dealing with brothers, you know. So brothers can peep things through the spirit because the Lord reveals things in the spirit, you know. And that's how it is. You know what I mean? That's why you want to make sure that you're dealing uprightly because you know the scriptures talk about offending the Lord's uh little ones, you know. Um verse three. Or slack you. Verse 4. While is it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not thine own power? Slack it. Was it not in thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto Yahweh Bashim Shai. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost, and great fear came on all of them that heard these things. Right? So the Lord had to make an example out of him, man. All right, it says, and the young man arose and wound him up and carried him out and buried him. And it was about the space of three hours after when his wife, not knowing what was done, came in because she was a part of it, too. She was scheming, too, you know. But the thing is, it's like kind of like how when Esau interrogates you, you know, and you have an accomplice to the crime, they separate you, you know. So that's kind of like what happened in the spirit, you know. It says... Verse 8, and Peter answered unto her, tell me whether ye sold the land for so much. And she said, yeah, for so much. Then Peter said unto her, how is it that ye have agreed together to tempt the spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of them which have buried thy husband are at the door and shall carry thee out. 
Then she fell down straightway at his feet and yielded up the ghost. And the young man came in and found her dead and carrying her forth, buried her by her husband. And great fear came upon all the church and upon as many as heard these things. That's right. So ultimately, you want to make sure that you're dealing uprightly with the brothers. You're being honest, you know, so on and so forth. Because at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you don't offend brothers, you know, because Christians talk about offending Yahweh Shai's little ones, you know. Let me get that preset real quick. And as well, you brothers want to be able to, uh, not, like Scripture say, putting our trust in man, you know, brothers don't, we don't, you know, rely on each other like we rely on Yahweh Shai, Shai, but we also want to have a form of confidence that we can, you know, I guess, keep our backs towards the man's next to us, you know, like, because what, cause what they say, if you entrust somebody, you're not going to turn your back towards them, you know, so basically what I'm saying is, you know, to make it plain, brothers want to know that they they can be able to feel safe around you, so to speak, man, all right, and that you're not plotting and being wicked, okay, because the Lord is not dealing with that, this is Matthew 18 and 6, it says, but whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he would drown in the depth of the sea. Okay, right. So basically, the Lord says better you go kill yourself than to offend one of his little ones, man. All right, and that's why you got to make sure that you're dealing amongst brothers with the utmost respect, you know, and, and uprightness of spirit. All right, but that's really the point on that right there. That's just a quick example why you should be honest with the body and deal upright with the brethren. So with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, a great bill from the real peace and blessing to the elect of Israel. Shalom and above all.